Welcome to a video that's not the typical style of this channel. And it's about tables. Tables that go here. And this is more of a pre-warning announcement about the developments that have happened with the table that I sell. Because since they were first produced, they've had a lot of changes since then. And they now look like this. And I can safely say they are the best four-wheel drive tables you can get. But we'll get more into that later. I will start by saying this. If you have purchased one of my old model tables, then you can send it back and I will give you a free upgrade of the new model. Because it's a lot better. Anyway, let's talk about why it's a good table. Now any table that mounts here obviously needs your rear door card to be removed. The last model didn't need this, but this one does. And here's where the improvements begin. Firstly, on every other door card replacement, you have to drill out all of these holes to a larger size and fit riv nuts, which requires its own special tools unless you're a spanner monkey mechanic that everybody hates. Now the difference here is using a similar device called a jack nut. Now this works in a similar way, but it doesn't need the hole to be widened and it's completely reversible. You can just drill off the front bit of this and your factory holes are not affected, which means you can fit your original door card if you choose to remove this. Which you won't. These are also much easier to get away with installing without a special tool. They just slot in like this, and when you tighten them down they'll spread out from the inside, and it's very easy to do. Now I've got such confidence at the ease of installation of this product, that I'm going to use only a fork and a 2.5mm Allen key. So in terms of how tight to do it, I'm just keeping moving it every now and then to see how tight it is. And what I'm looking for is for the nut to not be moving against the body. And what that means is that the jack nut is secure and the rest of the tightening will happen when you fit the panel. When you're done, remove the fork, remove the bolt, and repeat that for all of the holes. So with the hard bit done, this is all completely reversible, remember? You can now just bolt up the plate and you're pretty much done. And that's the table installed. The whole process, if you drag your heels, will take you about half an hour. About as long as it takes to fit some Jeep injectors. Now I mentioned before that this is the best table you can get for your four-wheel drive. And that made me sound a bit like a person named after a purple dinosaur who makes rock sliders. But here's why. This table folds up. Other tables fold down. Why is that an advantage? because you can still open your drawers. Other reasons would be that it's made of much more premium materials. The top surface is 1.6 stainless steel, as well as the backing plate. And the table itself is a sandwich of aluminium and stainless. And it's isolated before anyone uses the G word. Aside from that, this particular prototype has been tested with 40 kilos and it hasn't broken. And it takes a second to fold it out and a second to put it away. Now this table is about 95% of the way through the prototype stage. Now while the fit is perfect, the design has had to be tweaked a little bit. 
and this will all be finished off in the final product. And as this company is mostly a prototyping company, the components of this will probably be outsourced, but assembled here, which means that build quality will also increase. But unfortunately, I am personally one of those people that pesters people for feedback on the stuff that they buy. And here are the things that have been improved on. There were only two, because the last one was actually quite good. But some people had their table flopping around in the back of their car. So there's now scope for attaching a retaining strap to stop that, to keep it flat. And the last one was more of a pre-designed suggestion than a complaint. Which is adding these little hooks here, so you can attach pots and pans to it. And one of the things in the redesign was to flip this plate around so that these hooks are on the other side. Firstly, so it gives you more ground clearance, and secondly, so it means that these can be used along with those other holes to stop the rattling. I'll also add this in because it would be silly not to. Obviously the backing plate is already designed, which is a very nice strong replacement for a Toyota door card. So I'll also be selling stainless steel door cards because they're already kind of designed. Anyway, it's going to be available in the coming months. Check the website. Also check the other channel because I'll do an installation instruction video on that one. And finally, again, if you've previously bought the older model table, send an email to this email address, send back your old table, and once everything's finalized with this one, you'll be sent out a new one of this design. That's all, bye.